Stacy Licht from Transformation Thrive, and I'm going to talk to you about the average person's B12 levels. Vitamin B12 is the largest and most structurally complicated vitamin, and even though it's water soluble, it can actually be stored in the liver for years. You cannot get B12 from, from plants or sunlight, but the best sources are animal products like red meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products. You can also get B12 from supplements. The recommended daily amount of B12 is 2.4 micrograms, and the average person's intake level is 3.4 micrograms. The average blood levels are between 200 and 900 picograms per milliliter, but deficiency symptoms tend to arise at 550 picograms per, per milliliter and below. Vitamin B12 is involved with many processes in the body, including DNA synthesis, neurological function, detoxification, and helping you digest your food. Deficiency symptoms can vary, and they could include anything from cognitive decline, depression, poor memory, a sore mouth and tongue, colitis, and many other things. Deficiency symptoms can arise in people who either don't get enough dietary sources like vegans and vegetarians or people who have certain medical conditions like pernicious anemia and various intestinal problems like Crohn's disease. I recommend trying a supplement that's sublingual and the methylcobalamin form is the best because it doesn't have to be converted in the body and sublingual lozenges do not have to go through the GI tract so they're more absorbable. Also, people who can't absorb the vitamin can do B12 injections, which are a great option. <music>